1994, Bay Area thrash band Machine Head stunned the world with their debut album, Burn My Eyes. 13 years, four records and countless shows later, their blistering new slab, The Blackening, proves the band have lost none of their fury. And how are you finding it, Rob? I'm doing great. It's awesome. Excellent. Australia kicks ass. And The Blackening's been hailed as your best yet. Do you agree? We worked really hard, you know, we worked our asses off to make this record great and, and, and make a huge statement and make try and make music that actually says something. You know, there's like so much pop crap and emo crap that's just singing about nothing. Well, I never would have dreamed that, that the lyrics on this record would connect to so many people because they're so angry. What do your kids think of the blackening? They haven't heard it. <laughs> no way, dude. There's way too much swearing. I don't want my three-year-old walking around. Fuck. Yeah, he really likes System of a Down. You know, yeah? We play him the songs that don't have any swearing, but he really likes, he likes the singing stuff. It's Green Day. You know, I was laughing about it. Like We played with Metallica the other day at yeah. Wembley Stadium. It was 55,000 people that we played in front of them. 24 hours later, I was home, and I had to change like five poopy divers. <laughs> There's a lot of people in music who are famous kind of for being famous, and we're a band that wants to be famous just for writing great music. What makes a machine head fan? Just someone who's really passionate about music. They like definitely like heavier stuff. I like to drink and get loud, headbang and circle pit and lose their f***ing minds and jump up and down and scream and yell and sing along and have a blast. I've noticed them more passionate on the last couple albums. They're younger now too. I remember when we first started, we had like more like, I mean, I think we were touring with Slayer and stuff. So yeah, we, yeah. we had like older audience. Now we've got like a lot of teenagers. Throughout your career, you've had quite a few songs that sort of touched on issues that became a bit of a controversy. Is this sort of FBI breaking down your door yet or? A very common thread through all of our albums is, you know, a, a questioning authority. From the first album to Definitely. till now, and uh, and confronting authority if need be. We have encountered some some problems along the way since we produced the record. Like we just did a headlining tour of America with yep. Arch Enemy. Several shows were canceled because they were at a house of blues that resided on Disney property. Extremely conservative, you know, company corporation. They got a hold of the blackening, and and you know they didn't like the anti-war lyrics, they didn't like the anti-administration lyrics, and they successfully pressured the promoter into canceling the shows. Any metal band that was like pro-Bush or pro-Christian. There's pro-Bush like metal bands? Pro-Bush metal bands and pro-Christian metal bands. They allowed those bands to still play. I think with, with this record, going into it, you know, we definitely knew that they were a lot more pointed and a lot more, you know, aggro and a lot more specific. We just didn't think that anybody who was trying to inflict repercussions on us would succeed. Can metal fans rise up, reach critical mass? Can we topple the machine? We're just making music yeah. and you know we're voicing our, our anger. We're not saying we have the answers. Music is very much a reflection of the times and I think you know the reason that music's so angry right now is because there's a lot of anger with the stuff going on. When America was kind of fat and lazy during the Clinton years, it was like grunge was really popular. If you look at like the Reagan years or whatever, like a lot of like amazing yeah. know, punk rock and a lot of amazing metal came out of those times, and I think we're we're going through similar times again. It's Rob Flynn, it's Machine Head, you Black Rock. Crusade.